Well hello everybody and welcome to another video of basic fishing. The warmer month is finally approaching us and this usually gives the other people lots of opportunities to go fishing whether that is off the boat or off the beach. And beach fishing is something that most people don't do so for today's video I will be showing you on the basics on how to make a very very simple yet effective beach rig for snapper fishing. For this rig, here are the components that are required. One is either a DX point hook if you prefer your striking, but I highly recommend the KLT style hook. The other component is the rolling swivel, some snap swivels, um, barrel swivels, and let's not forget the uh, soft luminescent bead inside here. Um, either, well, I would recommend both the um, tough trace or fluorocarbon leader and for this demonstration we'll be using 60 pound and also a breakaway sinker an impact breakaway sinker as you can see here so yeah let's get started on this build okay so what I've done here is I've cut about a meter or under, like 50 centimeters, 60 centimeters of uh, tough trace, which as you can see here. And now what I'm going to do is make my first move. I'm going to use the, um, well, I'll be tying the uh, uni knot on my first um, rolling swivel. And as you can see, I make a loop here and I pass the tag in between three to five times and I just pull it tight here and when I pull it down I would normally use my teeth but uh, this is just demonstration so but uh yeah one knot down cut the tag end off now the next step is to go to the other side and um what you do here is insert the um, soft luma this is a soft luminescent bead by the way once and here you add the snap tool and now you just pass the um, soft luma again and you seal this by tying another rolling swivel. All right, that's um, part one down. And as you can see, that was very straightforward. Now the next part, you will need fluorocarbon leader. For this, I wanted about from the tip of my finger all the way to the joint of my elbow. So it's not that much. Now for the hook, I can either go with a uni knot, but because fluorocarbon is quite stiff and can be a bit of a hassle to tie onto the hook, I'm going to use a snail knot. So what I do is I pass the first tag in through the eye of the hook and I hold the line really tight here. And simply what I do now is I'm going to um, wrap this around seven times for good luck. All right, now that I got that down, what I do is I hold it by pinching it at the um, with my fingers and then I pass the end and I just put it through the eye of the hook if I can that is here we go I just so that's a snap that's a simple snail knot down and simply what I do now is I get the end of my rolling swivel and I tie a uni knot again. This rig is almost done now, and the last thing I need to do is tie my sinker. And from here to here, that's how it looks. Now what I'm gonna do is get my impact sinker, as you can see here. Get a bit of my mono Tie a rolling swivel 
Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clip it onto this snap swivel. And uh, well, once again, cut that off. And what I do now is I am measuring how much um, sinker leader I need to make. And in order for this to work, I need to make my sinker trace longer than the hook trace. And I'll make it long about, ah, oh jeez. So I'll make it about this much gap at the bottom. And now I will tie a uni knot again onto this sinker. And the rig is done. Some people may see this as like a, well, I would call this a running ledger rig. And, but the cool thing about this rig is that, thanks to this sinker here, what I simply do is I just place the hook onto that hook here out of the sinker. And as you can see, it's more aerodynamic. And the cool thing about this rig is that, well, one, it's a clip-on, but also it's also what I would call a running rig and a ledger rig at the same time because one, you have the sinker trace to elevate your bait a bit higher off the ground. And two, you have the structure of a running rig to allow the uh, fish to take off as soon as it hits a, um, the bait. And three is that like a poly rig, it has the um, clip-on system. So when it lands, oh, was, yeah, it just gets freed like that. Uh, so by clipping the um, hook onto the sinker, not only will you get great distance, but you will also, you won't get the risk of getting too much tangle on your rig as well. Oh, and for this demonstration, you noticed how I've added like a mini gap of um, leader. Well, this is suitable if you're fishing straight with braid. So if you have like a braided leader on your um, reel or something like that, or if you prefer to fish uh, straight braid, this is suitable to use because you want to have the uh, stretch to um, allow the, um, the strain of the cast to take the uh, shock absorption. And also, if you're fishing with a mono leader, all you got to do is um, place this component directly onto your mono leader and you're good to go. Another cool thing about this rig is that I can easily take this off, cut that off, Attach it here, and you got yourself a running rig. That's what I call a basic beach rig for snapper fishing. Now here are some basic tips and tricks I'd like to share for all of you viewers. First of all, tie your bait onto the hook like the bait buddy. This way, not only are you ensuring that your bait stays on the hook or presenting it better, but also allows you to expose your hook well enough to allow the hook to be clipped onto the sinker, which prevents the, um, the bait from getting in the way. It also helps to keep your bait streamlined so it flies through the air much better. Sadly, these South African style impact sinkers aren't common and can be hard to find. If you aren't able to find any of these impact sinkers I had shown in my videos, there are other alternative impact clips to try and use. And if you can't be bothered tying this rig, make sure to try the Blackmagic Long Car Surf Rig as an alternative. I hope everyone has enjoyed this basic tutorial video and learned a thing or two. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.